just a little ride through Amish country with Pawpaw Dabs from way down south. We way up northeast Ohio. So high Leaves are starting to fall already. Some of these trees. Especially right through here. That's a lot of your maple trees is already uh, shed the leaves. Getting ready for winter. That right there is what they call a pine tree. Looks like a big old Christmas tree. Yep, we are heading to Farmington to do some trophy buck hunting. No, I don't take just anyone. He's got to be grown and he's got to be a bigot. You know, Papa likes them big. Better slow down. Slow down, Papa. Horse and buggies. 35 West Farmington. That's where we're going. Y'all want me to zoom it in a little? How about that? Let's turn it a little bit. Can't see, Bob. How about that? Oh, I sure miss it. This is some beautiful country. It used to be like this way down south. Shit, we done planted pine trees every down where. Can't grow no damn food down there. God dang hurricanes. Blowing salt water in on the damn food. Just killing it. Gotta worry about that stuff up here. Yep, Papa ain't been up here in a pretty good while to do any hunting, that is. I came up here to do some, a couple of houses for my buddy. We didn't no sooner get them done and he died. Bless his old heart. That's a good old boy. Papa's lucky to be alive. All my damn friends and buddies just down there died off. But I can tell y'all one thing. All right, I'll take the next ride. You can't just sit around on the ass. Goddamn, do nothing. Most of them buddies of mine is dead and gone. They didn't work very hard. Some of them work too damn hard. But you can't sit on your ass and just do nothing. You know, playing games and all that shit. You got to, uh. Take the next left onto Ohio 534 North. You got to get up and do something. You know, uh, Ohio's a pretty bad hit state as far as, uh, recession. They all seem to be uh, doing something. Just like everywhere else I've been. One trade dies out and another one's born. <coughs> That's just like people, I guess. One generation dies out and another one's born. Y'all just stuck in the inner city. Just pack your bag. Start hitchhiking. Get out in the country. See what made America great. There's people like these people right around here. Just old farmers. A quarter mile, turn left onto Larson West Road. 
All right. They say on YouTube people don't watch much over four or five minutes of a video. I don't know why anybody would want to turn the video off watching the something that's beautiful. I think I was supposed to turn right there. Yep. Continue on Ohio 534 North for one and a half miles. Ah, we go another mile and a half. Catch the next cut through road. One thing about it up here, hey, the roads, the, the road and interstate systems, you can be anywhere within four or five hours just about. From one end to the other. on my way to town to get some water boots so I can go down in this uh, swampy area that I like. Heck, when I was on my way to town, I passed probably 15 or 20 of them horse and buggies. I ain't seen but one on the way back. This show is some beautiful country. Bada Mike and Ruby Dooby. I think they're from somewhere up around in here. Look, these people, but hey, their bicycles don't have pedals on it. Looks like a scooter. people here. Amish country. This is the fourth largest Amish settlement in America. Look, this lumber yard. That is all sawmill lumber. We're going we to cut through road. some more farmland. I think they call this Farmington. Continue on County Line Clark Road for one mile. County Line Road. eight minutes. What y'all put city folks think about this country? I sure wish y'all was here with me looking at it. It sure is beautiful. Makes you proud to be an American. That's how you break leaves. Oh yeah, this is this is the really the part I wanted y'all to see. I mean they're still cutting corn here. And just the size of the barns. Man. Now look at that. I mean just look at that. Oh yeah, Papa would love to live somewhere like this. With my grandkids. Oh yeah, look what I stopped a while ago and got. Pure maple syrup. What, but ten dollars for a quart? proud of it, but it sure takes a lot of that juice to make a gallon. I can't remember how many he said. I think he said it takes about 
15 or 20 gallons to make one gallon. Yeah, this is all private property around here. Where I'm heading to is a wildlife management area. I haven't taken a, any wildlife in over five years. What the doctors told me a couple of weeks back, I think I better get on the ball and try to get me a big old trophy. Maybe one will give itself to me. If not, that's okay. Turn left onto North Road. There goes one of them uh, horse and buggies. <laughs> 